Today we will talk about Meg Ryan, what happened to her face and why the change was so shocking to everyone. I also would like to talk to you about what you should do as an injector to avoid such a result in your clients. Let's first take a look at Meg Ryan and her younger age. Her face features are very unique and it's attributed in her being named one of the most beautiful actresses in Hollywood. She naturally has very high cheekbones, very expressive eyes, small nose and lips that are on the thinner side. She has a well-defined jawline with slightly protruding chin, which made her face look natural and symmetrical. As Meg Ryan was getting older, she naturally started getting more wrinkles and saggy skin and might need to have some touch-ups with Botox and fillers to maintain her youthfulness. But her latest change in appearance left everyone speechless. When we compare her latest change in appearance, we notice that she looks very swollen and overdone. Not natural at all. Her expressions look plastic. Her face doesn't look proportional anymore. What do you think was done wrong? Let's go over our features of Meg Ryan's face and see what would be the proper protocol for some of your clients that have similar features. She has a medium-sized forehead with well-defined eyebrows and downward slanting eyes. When we inject a toxin to someone with these features, we need to make sure we don't over-inject her frontalis muscles, which could drop her brows even lower. She could benefit from getting one to two units of taxing in the tail of her brow to give her an eyebrow lift. I would start with 10 units of taxing in her frontalis on the first visit and then we'll add more if needed. Also, remember to avoid that plastic look. We need to leave a little bit of the movement in her forehead to keep her expressions intact. She has very high cheekbones, so before we inject her fillers, we need to ask her to smile, to squint, and to make different expressions in her face to see how much movement happens with her cheeks. Injections for fillers are done to enhance the natural shape of the cheekbones with the smallest amount placed at the lateral side of the zygomatic arch closer to the ear and more filler placed at the proximal side closer to the nose. How much filler is placed depends on the degree of the volume lost. I would recommend to start with half a syringe or 0.5 ml of a filler on each side of her cheek and add more if needed. Well-placed filler does not migrate to the adjacent areas and smoothly molds to the shape of the face. Meg Ryan has naturally thinner lips, but they are proportionate to the size and the shape of her nose. In her latest photo, we see that she had lip filler done, which made her lips now look a little disproportionate with her nose since they became not only plumper, but wider as well. When you inject a lip filler, remember the natural proportion for the lips. Upper lip is usually thinner than the lower lip, and to have beautiful results, make sure you maintain this ratio. I'll have what she's having. Please check other similar videos that we did about celebrities on our channel.